Good morning from the Eiffel Tower on this rainy, gloomy day. I'm wearing the exact same outfit because uh, I didn't get enough photos yesterday and I want to wear this outfit for today's photos. Um, but what we really want to say was we did a poor job at ending yesterday's vlog because of some, what's the word used? Extenuating circumstances? Yes. Well, okay, so we got, we left you guys at dinner and then it started pouring rains. So I had a cod with risotto rice kind of thing it was it was pretty good it was the only thing on the menu that i saw that seemed like i could eat it um enjoyably except for her pasta which i almost got too it was pretty good i was give like a seven and a half um portion size were kind of small but it as it is here it seems so mine was one of the features that they had for the day which was the linguine pasta with squid which I've had squid before when I visited Croatia years ago and I remember really liking the dish. Um, so I'm really glad I had it. I thought it was a very tasteful dish. It was small like you said, but I thought it was kind of perfect because I ate after like a dessert, so I thought it was good. Um, it was a small restaurant, so to get into the table, Kieran had to like... To get through. to see you? Because the booths are all like this, and then they leave about in two inches between each table. The seats, so when they pull the table out, you go into the booth, they push the table back in and trap you in there, and then the other person sits in front of you. So it's really tight. They cram as many tables into that small restaurant as possible. It was packed. Yeah, like every table was full. Yeah, she said 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10 if it was a bigger meal. So we got out of there, it started pouring rain. Kieran so went to the bathroom to... first of all, and I looked outside and we didn't really plan for it to rain. Like here in, earlier in the day, as we were leaving our Airbnb, he said, oh, is it going to rain? And it was a 10% chance. We're like, we'll be fine. Clarissa wasn't dressed according to rain, so I just put my bag inside my shirt and I was fine. We just started speed walking towards it. Um, and it was a 15 minute walk total. I had some issues though because I wore these sandals that went with this outfit very nicely, but they were very, very, very uncomfortable and I have cuts all across my feet now, so I have a bunch of bandages. So Kira said if you started running, you would lose me because I, like my speed walking wouldn't have even like, caught up to his speed walking. It was just uh, a rough time. So halfway through the 15 minute walk, Claire so wanted to quit and call an Uber. Eventually we just stuck it out. We got home, made some drinks. Um, then it was 10.30 at that point. Changed after, my shoes. Yeah, changed. It was 10.30 at that point and the restaurant we wanted to go for dessert oh. closed at 11. So that's why we couldn't film the last clip. We were rushing so bad to get out the door and get back outside to go to this restaurant. We got there at 10.50 so we went and sat down for uh, Perry Breast, which is, it almost looks like a donut or a bagel cut in the middle and filled with whipped cream all through. It's like an eclair but inside of a donut is what it seems like to, what it seemed like to me and we were recommended to have that here. So we tried that and they split it for us. It was a huge donut. It was really good. Well, it, was, it was kind of bland to me. It was, it was good, but it wasn't fantastic for me. What did you think of it? It was good. I wouldn't say it's great. I wouldn't say it was yeah, out of this world. Like our tour guide made it so Then we left the restaurant to go to a four-star rating club near our house. We pulled up, like we walked up to it, and there was not a single person in sight. There was one bouncer and there was dead road. So we decided not to go there and that we would go home and kind of re- Assess where we're going to go. Yeah. And Can we, I jump in really quick? Yeah. Um, one of my friends that has traveled to France before said that you want to go to the clubs that have the longest lines outside, even if it looks dingy, because she said they're the best time. So as soon as we saw that the club had no line, we're like, okay, this isn't the one. So then we went back home, like you said. And then there was a group of girls beside our apartment. And so first uh, said, why don't I just ask them where it's good to go? Yeah, so I went up to them, they were super sweet. I think they were kind of scared of me at first because, I don't know, I just, the, their, their body language kind of showed different. But then as we started talking, uh, they were super sweet and they like invited me to go with them to this club. And I said, oh no, like I got my boyfriend, like back there. <laughs> we need to go like talk about what we're going to do. And Kieran wants to have a sandwich, so. <laughs> so I made a sandwich, it was delicious. <laughs> so yeah, I got the um, deets for the club that we wanted to go to. Uh, or were recommended. We went back up our seven flights of stairs. Kieran had a sandwich. We were about to go to the club. 
we went back to go. No, we, we went, went back we out. Went out. We walked the 15 minute walk to the club. Clarissa put on slides because it was more comfortable than her gladiator shoes. I just didn't and want anything touching my cuts. And I had my windbreaker type Nike joggers on. That material was similar to this, but black. And we got to the club, and the bouncer didn't let us in for dress code because of. He said my pants, and then he looked at Clarissa's shoes and said, yeah, those shoes don't no either. And I feel like if it was just my pants and she had regular shoes on, we probably would have got in because it's pants, but I could see them not even in a club with slides. That's that's pretty ridiculous. So we were going to come all the way back after we changed, but we decided when we got back home to just call it a night, watch some YouTube videos, have her uh, late night snack, and then just call it a night. So we had to get up pretty early to come to the Eiffel Tower, which is where we are now, on the second floor. We're all the way going up to the summit and we're not there yet but this is the second stop where you get onto a different elevator and go all the way to top but we're also just gonna walk around this floor too first to get a second view. Uh, Clarissa just had her sandwich from today and I just had a protein bar and we will catch up with you at the top maybe. Everybody looks like little teeny ants. Like pee pee pee. Can I help you? How to avoid pickpockets. <laughs> Beware of your friends. It's not raining anymore. So I just want to tell you. How did you find the Eiffel Tower? It was. Honestly, nothing super, super special. <laughs> I appreciate it from the ground and from the second floor. Yeah. I just love the way it looks. The architecture is really beautiful. The top floor is super foggy, so the view is almost worse than the second floor. Um, yeah, I'm glad I did it. That's the first monument type thing that I've actually appreciated that we did. I didn't care for the London Eye or any of that stuff. This one was, this one was cool. Yeah. Yeah. And it was cheap too. It was like 20 euros. The London Eye was like 50. And this is what he's talking about when he says architecture. What I also enjoyed about today's venture, I guess, is that we sat kind of a whole day to the Eiffel Tower. So it's almost three now. And I like that we didn't have to rush or go through anything because it was just the Eiffel Tower that we set the morning slash early afternoon to. It's nice because at the Louvre, I overheard, I think it was our tour guide that was saying, your ticket is still good for three hours of entry or something like that so we were both crossing our fingers that it would be kind of the same deal for the Eiffel Tower since we didn't actually get here till at least noon so um, our ticket scanned fine everything went okay so I mean not something to live by to like be late to your things that you have tickets to but it worked fine after we spent about an hour and a half under this thing what did we do well we took another couple's photos and they took ours and then we are going to Louis again today, and then we're gonna go for dinner and hopefully the gym. And we didn't only take one couple's photos, we took like well, we four, like couple's, four couple's photos. photos. And I got a business idea. I wanted to set up a sign here that says one euro. Right, one point, euro. point where? Yeah, like just right at the... Gate. Just, you know, right over here. And then set up a sign that says one euro per photos. And then... Um, like an experiment. Use my camera and just send the pictures to myself for each person and airdrop each person their pictures and then have them leave. I think I can make a business here. I think it could work. Back from dinner now, we had pho. There's That's our toilet. There's literally three pho restaurants within 50 meters of our house. I don't know how they all survive because we walked by two of them and their menu looked exactly the same. Literally even the way it was spaced out or something, so that's fishy. It seems like they literally are owned by the same people and they just put it under two different names. But we went to Sapporo, which we got some clips of our food. And they didn't have any grilled chicken, they only had fried chicken. So I got shrimp instead and Clarissa got beef. She got beef no, with- I got Sorry, pork. pork, I keep saying beef. Yeah. She got pork with sauce. egg noodles, the kind of standard fried noodle kind of thing. And then I got shrimp with noodles and then we split a pho, a noodle, uh, sorry, a shrimp pho. And the shrimp and noodles was really good. Your pork and noodles was really good. The pho was pretty bland and both shrimp dishes didn't have many shrimps. 
and yours had a decent amount of beef. Mm -hmm. So I would say they're pork. honestly, okay. sorry, pork, pork. I would say they're honestly an eight out of 10 for me. If they were, if they had much more shrimp, I would have said nine out of 10 for sure. And I asked to order more shrimp. I said, can I just order a side of shrimp or something like that? Like I'll pay for it, whatever. And they said, no, we can't do that. We only have them the mixed fish. in. So mm -hmm. it, it almost made me seem like they're pre-made. That would have rated <laughs> mine like eight and a half out of 10. Cause like I had more pork in mine or just meat in general. Cause I feel so, like anything other than shrimp is easier to give you more because it's, it's just cut food. up. Yeah. Shrimp is, you get one or you get zero. It's like each, you can't piece, each, half, right? each yeah. shrimp is a, piece, is a piece of shrimp. So it's yeah. not like you can just have two chicken pieces. It's a shrimp or it's no shrimp. And so we just walked to the supermarket close to our house afterwards and picked up some little goodies. So we got this cereal called Cook. Hey, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because I said cereal. No, not you, Siri. Okay, we're going to try the Cocoa Crisps now. Oh, sorry, cookie crisps. They are from a supermarket, so. They taste a little dry and they're puffy. They kind of taste like those healthy cereals you have at home, like those ricey ones looking. Like that's the texture I'm getting. I think they're a little stale. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not recommended. Don't mm. get cookie crisp. And then we also got this Snickers White. I've never had this, and I don't think Clarissa has had this either. So we're gonna split it and see how it tastes. <laughs> okay, for first impression, it smells like a nutty it like bar. Butter. It's really good. I don't taste the it's difference. Very though. salty. I love salty chocolate though. It just tastes like a Snickers though. Like I don't taste the difference. I'm a little sweeter than saltier, but. It's so good. It tastes like an O'Henry. Yeah. I don't really taste white chocolate. I give it like an eight and a half. Mm -hmm. Butterscotch, that's what it is. Butterscotch, nuts, and white chocolate. Yeah, it tastes like an O'Henry, but with white chocolate. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Please change Au revoir. this sign to this to this. Au revoir. Yeah, keep on rocking in the free world, don't you know? Can you handle the stairs and the camera though? Yep. side towards us and we couldn't figure it out like we were twisting everything we we're just standing here eventually like what do we do and this guy walks out and he's like wait what? no you missed a part of the story what? i said something about this little thing but i was too scared to click it because i thought it would sound some alarm so i didn't touch it yeah okay and then this guy comes outside gives us this stupid ass look like do you not know how to get outside <laughs> and he walks up to the door and he's like Kieran also looked in our mailbox and like, is there another key? Like, how are we supposed to get out? There wasn't. Good morning from our last day in Paris. So today we're doing the Arc de Triomphe and we're going to Champs. Elysees? Yes. We might go look at Acme Studios just to take a look. Which is a store, clothing store if you were at Yeah. Um, and then we're going back to the Eiffel Tower tonight to look at the light show. And before that, we're going to go to a highly recommended dinner place, which is a little bit more bougie than we're used to. <laughs> and then we're going to go to an also highly recommended dessert place that's right next door to it. And then we're going to find our favorite coffee on the way, which is not coffee, it's just an Americano, so... We are pressed. The Spanda! Can we just use the Yeah. <laughs> in Britain, we could get filter coffee with just rice, coconut milk in it which was, they didn't bat an eye or anything. They were just like, okay. It was a little weird to them because they didn't know how to order it, like get it for us at first, but then they still were able to do it every time. Here they don't even have the option. In the same press, so it's the same franchise, you cannot get filtered coffee. And we were like, oh, filtered coffee? So, no. We got Americanos the other day, literally two shots of espresso in an empty cup, and then we get an Americano at Pret, and it's a full cup, 
of Americana, so like espressos with the water in it. Like a proper American. Yeah, Americana. so I don't know what how everyone decides what they're gonna do here. So my question is, how is Starbucks said? Do they not have coffee? Would they only have Americanos, lattes, and cappuccinos as well? I think Starbucks must have it. I kind of want to go just to test it out now. Oh, oh that's okay. Oh, yeah. That blueberry looks good, but honestly, no one won't be as good as Paul, so I don't even want it. This is very up Kieran's alley. And this is uh, very up my chocolate croissant. Larissa was almost so obnoxiously impatient to eat this that she almost ate in the middle of the road. <laughs> so it's a chocolate croissant. Let's see how they compare because like I've only ever had them at Starbucks. Honestly, I can't remember how it tastes like at Starbucks, so Yeah, but really are good. you saying oh it is? There's more chocolate than these. It fills like the whole middle as opposed to just a little. Well, some places do little lumps, and some people do yeah. filled in. I prefer this. I wish there was milk chocolate. Good job, Paul. Thanks, Paul. Grande Bon Americano. Grande Americano? Which size? Grande size? Yeah. With the almond milk, please. Correctly spelled. I spelled it out, and we have Kirar. <laughs> so Kieran was right about his prediction on, um, or is it your prediction or our prediction? I don't even remember. I think mine was wrong. I thought the Starbucks would actually have filtered coffee. They're such a big franchise, but you cannot get regular filtered coffee in France. So we got Americanos. It's confirmed. Um, it's steamed on the Americano. This is this is way bueno. Um. I had a feeling that they wouldn't have normal filter coffee because of Cretton and they had filter coffee in London and I was like, the Starbucks must be the same but I feel like Starbucks is more renowned worldwide so yeah, that's why we thought they would have coffee They have cold brew and they have iced coffee on their menu but I don't know how that would be maybe just espresso shots with ice and then milk Like one of your French gals. <laughs> That's me, this is Clarissa. <laughs> Any regular person. <laughs> Alright babe, where are we in our journey to this building? Yeah, alright. Arc de Triomphe. And we walk around about half the arc trying to figure out how people don't die getting across to it. It's literally just a huge roundabout. Uh, and these cars go life. fast. And they don't, they don't even slow down, they just beep at you like, I'm gonna kill you anyways. <laughs> and then we saw that. And then I said, mm, there must be an underground to that staircase right there. So we think to get so there, we're gonna go right. We get there. through there. Let's see what happens. Like, look, these guys go so fast. Like, random. Just merge. I'm. I turn now. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> So I just want to go on a little rant for a second. Um, Kieran and I had to use the bathroom at the very bottom of the Arc de Triomphe, which is where we're standing on top of right now. And while we were at the bottom, before we even bought our tickets, we're like, okay, let's find a bathroom. So we went to this like machine, not machine. It kind of looked like a Automatic. futuristic. Yeah. So you click the button, it would open, you go to the bathroom, but it didn't work. So we're like, awesome, that's great. So we went to like the guest services person, and she said, oh no, you, it's the toilets are up there. Like once you get to the top. Okay, so we stood the whole line, like 20-ish minutes to get the tickets, get the tickets. And then once we get the tickets, we went to stand in another line for another like 10-ish minutes. And then after we did that, we had to walk up how many flights of stairs? I think it was 300 steps. Yeah, okay. Oh, you think? You think I heard some lady say like 285. Uh, so we walked up flights and flights of stairs, and by this point I really had to go back and like so freaking badly and the movement of my legs and like my like I just had to go even more so we finally get to the top and I was a little cranky and we finally find the toilets and there's like such a long line for the women's like always so we did another 10 ish minutes in the line got inside there was no soap there's only two stalls um the one of the toilets didn't even flush and um 
Yeah, I just think it's a little ridiculous. Was there paper they, towels? No, no paper towels. So we had a hand dryer. The men's one oh. did not, right? Yeah, there was no soap and no nothing. Yeah. So, but what I was gonna say was, first I think it's ridiculous that they don't have bathrooms anywhere else. Like not at the bottom, not on the corner. Like you have to go to some restaurant across the street. And once you get to the top, there's only two. Like, are you kidding? And then the other thing I was gonna say was, I don't know how people get up here with wheelchairs because we didn't see an elevator, but they have ramps across the whole rooftop. I'm just like a little confused. So either this is secretly wheelchair accessible or they're just dumb. And they just don't make it known to the public. Like, I guess it wasn't here, like it wasn't expensive. You said it wasn't expensive to even come up here. For us being under 25, it was 10 bucks each, 12 yeah, bucks regularly. Euros. Yeah, 10 euro. Um, rent over, I just wanted to share that. The view's nice though. Yeah, it is. Color palette though? Aren't you impressed that I'm holding 25 items on one arm? It's not 25. Tonight's dinner. Um, it was, it was good tasting. It tasted good. It was quite fatty for both of our dishes. Clarissa's was much more so than mine. <laughs> the yam, I think it was carrot and yams mashed. It was actually really good. It was almost like a sauce for the chicken, but also had some consistency of texture itself. And the chicken had the skin on it, but I just ripped it off. And it was a good meal if it was twice the size. If I had double the amount of chicken breasts and more of that orange stuff, the carrot mash thing, it would have been like a very good nine out of 10 meal probably because it was actually very tasty. Just the portion size was not it for me. We're gonna go get some more food now. <laughs> so where'd you stop to grab your second dinner? I'm gonna try some Paris shawarma. This was only six euro, which in Canada is probably around eight, which is pretty regular, but compared to what we've been paying for food, it's actually not bad. It didn't look like excellent when he was making it, but let's try it. It's a little dry. Flavor would be decent. I feel like if it was more moist, it would actually be good. It was six and a half. The chicken's very dry. It was in a bucket. It wasn't on the... I assumed it was sitting there all day. It wasn't on the kebab or uh, the, spinner, the spinner anymore, so I kind of knew that was a bad sign, but... <laughs> I have salt and sweet, sir. Okay, one moment, please. There's three crepe spots here, so we decided we're gonna try two of the three of them. This is number one. Uh, this is banana, Nutella, and whipped cream. I'm very excited. For I almost missed the light show just to eat this. Yeah, she said, Do you really want to see the light show? I don't want to get out of the crepe line. I said, That's ridiculous. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. 
skiing with me for a bit though. I got you such a bigger piece. <laughs> mm. I love a good whip. That was a, a 10 out of 10 bite. It's good. She is not satisfied. I just, I like my mom's better. Like this is just like burnt, like this isn't, this isn't made fresh. Like you guys a pile of them. I also don't eat crepes enough to be an expert, so any crepe is probably just a good crepe to me. You really have to mess it up. Like, it's good. I just, I don't think the dough, like the pancake part, is very really good. I think they've done it before. For my unprofessional crepe at personality, I'd say 8.75 out of 10, or 8.5 out of 10. It was, I was, enjoyed it. What do you think? 8 out of 10, but I've had better. Could you imagine what 6 out of 10 is? She would just spit it on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so we went to the second crepe place and they only had limited types of crepes but I asked if I could get a custom one of peanut butter and Nutella because I wasn't on the menu and they said yeah and then Clarissa also wanted Smarties in it too and so I asked if we could add Smarties as well and they said no and then I tried to say like we'll pay extra and can you put the Smarties on anyways and then he didn't speak English very well so we called another guy over that speaks English and uh, the other guy did say yeah we can do it for an additional fee so they got, we have a clip of it and making it um, for like the second half of it I do want to say the crepes look a lot more fresh like they made them, the they made them literally in front of you, and it smelled. You could smell how much different. And they opened so, a new peanut butter jar in front of us, and the Smarties didn't look like they were touched yet. Yeah, so everything was new. Um, I don't know. I might have to retract my rating from the other one. I was an 8.5 at this. Point. I just got dough. Okay, the first bite was a failure. It's just dough. We will go again. Second bite was a failure, we will go again. No, no, no. This one's more of an eight and a half. Like more volume, fillings. volume, that's what I like. So if we put just like a little bit of whipped cream and then some strawberry pieces as opposed to like all Smarties or just all like a liquid, your turn. Toppings is definitely good choices together. Peanut butter is just the best topping in the world. They don't even eat peanut butter here in France. It's like, I spit on you, you eat peanut butter. I think peanut butter is amazing. So, oh, I'd say this is a nine. The other one still was good, but this dough I do like. It's a lot thinner, but they fold it over much time, so it doesn't feel so thin. All right, guys, so we just finished up at the Eiffel Tower for the second time since we've been here because we wanted to go see the light show at night. And we went to our first pastry shop that we were going to try, and it was ridiculously priced for the crappiest looking pastries. <laughs> so we went out. You saw me get my shawarma. And then we saw the crepes, so Clarissa got the first crepe place which was a less enjoyable experience than the second one. You've heard all that. And then we just transited home uh, about half an hour and we're about to download Game of Thrones, pack all our stuff for tomorrow when we leave for Italy, probably try to hit the hay before 2 a.m. and then we'll be up around seven or eight to get to the plane airport tomorrow to go to Florence, which has a layover in Rome. So we'll catch you <laughs> on the flip.